Hey, I'm Derek. I'm at Shepherd of the Hills Church in Los Angeles, California. I'm here with Tom Straley. That's right. Yeah, That's we're me. going to do a rig rundown. Uh, you know, I Tom invited me to come play this morning, which I was very honored to do, and it was great. It went really great. Uh, did. Souls were saved. Um, and Kick maybe up. the tone contributed to it, but <laughs> Tom has a phenomenal rig. I just wanted to uh, do a rig rundown on That's you. great. Is that yeah. okay? It'll be the world's quickest rig rundown. Okay, let's take well, a look almost. at it. I'm going to flip this. I think, can you flip, flip it mid? Can I flip a gram? I no, can't. you can't I'm just going to do, do this, though. It's going to be yeah. a mirror. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. so tell us about the guitar. Uh, this is just a, I think this is a 2000 uh, Fender it, Stratocaster. Uh, it's, is it is a it, custom? No, it's it's uh is it a deluxe? It's not. It doesn't have a humbucker. I think it's deluxes got the have humbuckers. things though. Yeah, it's kind of pretty, and it's got the it's got the noiseless pickups in it, yes. which which are great for session work because I, I can go in and crank up and, and you know producers engineers in particular will be like uh, there's a hum there's a buzz yeah and that's part of the reason why I have this whole rig is because um, having in the back in the days in the 80s and 90s when you had a refrigerator rack full of outboard gear that none of it was it was all different companies and everything yeah. Um, Let's get away from the guitar. Let's talk about the real. Yeah, the, this stuff. is yeah, this is the important stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it would it would just you'd be chasing hums all day long. I mean, I did went to extreme measures to chase hums, but this is uh, yeah. So it's just so I'm playing tens. Sounds great. I don't know what it sounds like in, on the phone, but I'm sure it sounds pretty good in the better room. than real life. Yeah. So let's talk about the real part of the rig here, the amps and pedals. This is what well, everybody well, wants to know. Yeah, and it, it, the, the pedal is real simple. Uh, it's I got one pedal. Okay. And uh, it's it's a sparkle drive. It's down there on the floor. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's not that sparkly though. Yeah, it's not that sparkly. It's what is this? Settings. Those are my secret settings you're giving away. There. This is an ancient, like I'm not. That's the original one, yeah. Yeah, but I've not seen. Is this not like a clon? No, no. It's it's just a. It's just it's just kind of a clean. I mean, the way the sparkle drive works is you've got. It's like having two amps at the same time, a clean amp and a distorted amp, and you got tone and the vo overall volume. So, I mean, even the clean amp, it's crunchy when you turn the knob. It's supposed to be like that, but uh, it's yeah. So I can I can gain this if I want to really gain it up. I'm mostly using it as kind of a pseudo clean boost. Oh yeah. You know, pretty much. I mean, if I really wanted to clean it up, I could go like that and boost it like that. But I, I was, I was driving a little too hard, so I pulled the master down today. Where's your pedal board? <laughs> That's it. That's the pedal board. Now, I've got a controller. So my my system is that to get rid of all the the refrigerator stuff. I I, I kind of made a love connection at the NAMM show back in the 90s uh, with the Lexicon people because I really liked, I had a Jam Man and it was great. I had a couple other Lexicon things. I had a LXP-15, which I loved because the reverbs were so, just so pristine and beautiful. So I, I always, every year, talk to the NAMM show guys and uh, the Lexicon guys at the NAMM show. And there was a guy named Dave McCarthy and he was coming out with a new thing. He was telling me all about it and getting me all excited about it. And he actually brought me the first ones. When they first came out, he was like, he had three or four of them in his car one went to Michael Thompson, one went to Paul Jackson, and one came to me, and one went to Carl Verheyen. So it was it was cool. I was able to get, and so what it is, this thing's crazy. It's from the 90s. It's 95, I think, is when this was out. This is an LX, what is the model number? You know what I don't even, oh, here it is. MPX G2. This has got, like, effects and, and amp sounds in here, um, and it's not digital entirely. This is an actual all-tube hand-wired amp. Uh, Are you made serious? by John McIntyre. This yeah. is hand wired. Yeah, this is this is hand wired. This is a boutique. This is digital. This, yeah, yeah, boutique digital, right? Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. All tube, hand wired. You know, this doesn't make true sense bypass. To me. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not even using the preamp stage of this right now, um, but but the way it's designed is for you to go in here, and then there's all these an all the analog effects you go through first, like the wah, the compressor, and the distortions, distortion right. boxes, and then you come out of that, you go into the back. In the, there's an input on the back of this. Um, and you go into that, and once you're in there, then you can go through the preamp section. Well, I'm not using that part of it, but then you come back out of this and go back into the second half of this where you've got all the digital reverbs and delays and choruses and flangers and 
phase shifters. And got I it. mean, it's got 72 different effects in here. So you can still hit the front end of the amp with overdrives. Yeah, and that, yeah. That kind and, of a thing. and so you're not changing. You can have the wah in front of your preamp and everything. And you could send it to another amp if you wanted to, and then send it back to this. It doesn't have to be this amp. Got it. Okay. Um, and then it goes back into this, and this is all tube. Uh, two EL84s, that's why it's called 284, yeah. signature 284. It's like a Vox kind yeah, of Yeah, well, thing. it's to three watts per side. So it's only, this is only six watts. Sounds cool. And it cleans up nice. It's actually got a lot of low end. For yeah, and, and then it's even a lexicon cabinet. I yeah. mean, the, it, the reason I love this is because I didn't have to. I didn't have to chase hum. They did all the work for me. All right. the it's totally clean. It's, I can have it wide open here. Right. It's it's not. There's no buzz and nothing. No feedback. And the cabinet is a stereo 212 cabinet. So oh. if I'm sitting in front of it, like if I lay it the other way, and I, or I put it up, I can hear stereo. And it, and the, it's even folded, so they're kind of spread a little bit more of a stereo separation. And two 112s, and it's a very big cabinet. So it's that's huge. where you get the bottom from. Yeah, it's like the size of a. Uh, like the triple rack. Yeah, it's a huge. Boogie it's cabin. a huge cabinet, but it's not heavy. It's just big. Yeah. Well, so. Okay, so we'll talk about the controller. This yeah. is what's. This is what I love about it is. So, like for example, this is my. For right now, this is my clean sound. And I, it's got. I'm on patch 297, which is right there. The seven. I can change it to eight, 298, 299, two, any whatever one. 298 is basically clean sound. Oh wait, no, that's 292. That's the 297. Okay, so I can go, if I hit the AB switch, I can change up to five different parameters at once with one switch. That's your programming scenes. Yeah, so I'm programming that in there. Yeah. So like with the, with the uh, I can go to FX mode here, and it turns it into a pedal board like you would have. Reverb, EQ. Do you realize that gain, we're driving up the used value of these lexicons. I know. I got a ton of them, so I'm We've good. You got to buy them all now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ton of them. I've been buying them off of eBay for years. My son has one. Has yeah. a full setup. He did. I have well, between me and my son, we have four. That's enough. Wow. It's enough. Um, full full including the pedal. I've got like six of these cuz I I wear them out. Yeah. Um, and I got delay effect 1, which in this case is actually this switch speaking of wearing out. That's wall. But I can turn on the wall with with this toe switch. You know, and it's got a great sounding. Let me turn off the. the sparkle drive is off now. So it's just got a nice. Well, I, the cool thing about this is I can turn on the volume pedal at the same time. So I can get the old Vox Wah sound, which is. Anyway, it's so it's 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 pretty it's pretty versatile. I mean, Sounds it's very, good. very versatile. Yeah. Um, I, like, for example, what is that? Um, go to patch 70. Yeah, this is my Cordovox sound, too. Isn't that crazy? That's cool. And that's one of the best Leslie sounds you'll ever get. It's true stereo. It's true stereo, and it's it slows up. So that's like, and actually that's my Lukather sound, my Steve Lukather sound. Okay. Yeah. Look yeah. out, Steve. <laughs> You've been warned. He has no wor warning, worries. Um, you know, I've got things that I program myself, like this one, which is uh, actually this is like my German disco. It's like a 
Zbex, but Zbex came out with something yeah, like yeah. this like 15 years the after. Sequel. This. Yeah. yeah, it's like this was this is 1995. Right. It's crazy. <laughs> That's back before that sound wasn't cool. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's almost cool again. It's <laughs> almost. I'm almost getting ready to start using it again in session. Yeah. Um, another one that I use. Uh, this one I created, and this one's cool. I've got it set up. set so that I've got I'm also controlling the tempo of the pan so I can have pan and tremolo so it's like bouncing all over the place To yeah, hear it totally live, right. like and right, you can't hear it. I mean, yeah, it's so you can't really hear the stereo very well, but you need to fix that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, and, and I can turn it off, turn off the tremolo port, and I got it set so fast that when I'm towed down, you almost can't hear it. Yeah. And I, if, I, if I goose it, I get it right in tempo, yeah. or what I like to do is lag the tempo a little bit. Yeah. Because then it's like, it gets more of a psycho effect on the audience. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds pretty toe up. But uh, yeah, so then I got, you know, with one button I can go from the metal sound to it, like the jazz, you know, jazz sound. So you get that whole jazz thing just with one button. It's all analog. It's all, yeah, it's well digital and analog. There's digital in the back and the reverb is digital. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Lexicon and the, yeah, and the, the chorus is like, you know, I got, this one's got a lot of everything. It's got reverb, delay, chorus on it. And so what I do with this one is I this is one I use for like swells, you know, when you're doing <laughs> it's, it's, it's like all in one, and the, the, one of the things that's like, my son has a pedal board that's giant, and he's got all these pedals. I've got enough yeah. pedals for probably five pedal boards. Uh -huh. For sessions, usually I just pack what I think I'll need for the for the session. Like in a, a box or two, or maybe a few boxes. Yeah, I'll bring I'll bring twenty sometimes. Oh, okay. I mean, I've got a Mutron Biface. That thing would take up one pedal board. That thing is yeah. this big. Right. Um, you power my it with Instagram, a car battery. Picture. What's right? that? You power it with a car battery? Yeah. That's yeah. The one? <laughs> no, it's got a, it's got like a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wear a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I bring a, you know, like a little power plant. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a solar power plant. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So it's. So what's your motto though? I mean, overall, I see that, that so many of us, I mean, even my, my pedal boards over here, it's got loads of boxes and so many of us have the loads of boxes, but you know. What should it, we take away from this? Well, I mean, I have loads of boxes here. I got 73 effects. I can, the, my takeaway is if it's not broke, don't fix it. And yeah. I've been programming it for 20 years, so I've been tweaking it. I mean, I'll tweak it sometimes every week. I'll go, you know, this is a little bright now. It's getting too bright for me. I'm going to take it down one out of, you know, like a maybe 65 out of 100. I'll go yeah. to 63 or something and try it for a week or two, see right. if I like that better. Yeah. Um, I can, you know, the, I've got basically 50 savers, uh, saving patches. It's got 250 patches and then 50 that you user. But every user one has an AB, so I can make a lot of changes using the AB switch. And they also have, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm selling you a product that's not even for sale anymore. So I mean, you, you only can find these things used. Um, but I can take it to a session and know I can hook it direct, and it's going to sound amazing. Yeah. You know. Um, and yet I'll, I'll still, I'll kind of suss out the, the producer who I'm working for. If they want me to bring real amps, I'll bring real amps. Right. You know. Um, so, but a lot of them will say to bring my rig. And I, I will sound like me because I programmed all those. Those are all my programs. Right. You know, the tones and everything. And I do have make some changes. I can change on the front end using the, the sparkle drive, which, by the way, was invented by the husband of the sax player at our church. Sheila Gonzalez is the sax player at our church, and her husband, James Santiago, invented this and the giggity and the wazoo. Right. He's freaking brilliant. He's an amazing guitar player. The guy yeah. is kills. Sheila's Sheila is an amazing yeah. artist. She's she tweet, tours with Weasel Zapper, done that for 10 years, and she oh. plays keys and sax at the same time. And I mean, she's just, wow. she's, she's, yeah. She's she can fantastic. sing. Fantastic. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. yeah I she's... mean, she's, she's using not even 1% of her abilities at Shepard. Wow. You know, it's just like, it's we're doing four or five chord songs. It's not I like. I feel cheated. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> At the church, we have fun. We have fun. You didn't hear her solo because she made me solo, but 
uh, for the prelude. But yeah, it's it's uh, uh, we we try to have some fun, some of the service, you know, for just breaking away and doing stuff. Yeah, you know, Tom, it's been said. I think it's a good ending point that tone is on the fingers. Would you show us like the most difficult chord? That you know how to oh, okay. how to finger. Okay, you want to see my adult yeah. chord? You want an yeah. adult chord? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did it today, but they I did. You say it. it's all in the fingers. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Okay. You adult, adult chord. This is on my on my YouTube. I have a YouTube channel of uh, it's uh, these little um, cool, cool chords. Okay, like the James Bond chord, right? Oh my gosh, it is. Um, you know, of course, the Jimi Hendrix chord, which everybody. Knows. But uh, probably the the hardest chord I can think of that I do, and I have to be careful because I could hurt myself <laughs> building up the have drama. Have you stretched? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't stretched yet. Is this is a, what I call an E4? So it's an E triad mm -hmm. like this. If you, like if you take a C chord in the middle, those string, uh, the fifth string, fourth string, and the third string is open. Yeah. You move that up to C sharp, D D D sharp E. Okay, so now we have an E chord. Well, now I want to add a fourth. Well, one way I can go to four is I can go up to take the three up to the four, yeah. or I can take the five down to the four, and I get this. It's a great chord. Isn't that cool? And a lot of times I'll do like this. I'll do this, this voicing of it, and I'll do kind of a, a, a dulcimer sound. By banging the strings. Yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah. You well, know. <laughs> there we have it. The uh, rig rundown with Tom Straley. How thank boring. You, thank you for watching. If you're still with us, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Derek.